In this video, I'm going to show you how to download shaders for Minecraft Bedrock 1.21.71. The first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up any web browser. For this video, I'm going to be using Google. Once you're in Google, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the search bar and type in mcpecentral.com. I'll also be leaving this website in the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment. So go ahead and just look it up right over here and then eventually you will get a menu that does look like this. Now this is a free website where you guys can install MCPE add-ons, mods, and many other great things as well. So what you want to do is you want to go to the top left and select on these three bars just like so. Then from here, you want to go ahead and scroll down until you see the section that does say shaders. So let's just go ahead and press on that. And then it is going to give you a list of all of the available shaders that you guys could actually go ahead and install on your mobile device. Now for this video, I'm going to be installing this right over here, the best shader for Minecraft Bedrock with no lag. So let's go ahead and press on that. And then as you're able to tell, it is now going to go ahead and give us an article. So you guys can go ahead and read all the text, look at the image and stuff like that. And typically it's going to give you some information about the shader itself but a shader is basically like a texture pack so anyways uh in order to actually download it what we need to do is we need to go ahead and just scroll all the way down until we see this download link right over here so it will say download and then there is going to be like a blue link right over here so from here let's just go ahead and press on the link and then we will then be brought to a page that does look like this. So this is a website called Mediafire. And Mediafire is basically a website where people are able to upload files and stuff like that. So what many shader creators do is that they upload their shader onto Mediafire. And from there, you are actually able to download it. So anyways, all you want to do is you want to press on the blue button over here that does say download. So let's just go ahead and press on that. And then as you're able to tell, it is now going to be installed on our device. Now, I do want to give a quick disclaimer. Sometimes what shader creators do is that they they make you go through some advertisements so you may need to watch like an ad or two or maybe look at some articles for 15 seconds guys and that's there for the shader creator to actually get compensated for their work so guys if you see something like that please just keep that in mind just make sure to not mess with any advertisements make sure to just skip all the ads but anyways guys once you're done with that what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and open up the google play store just like so then go to the search bar and then go ahead and look up for this application called file manager so let's go ahead and type it in and as you're able to tell we are going to get literally so many applications called file manager but the one that you guys want to install is this one right here it is called file manager plus and here is how like the profile picture will actually look like and we will need this in order to actually manipulate the files and make it so that we are able to run shaders smoothly but anyways guys once you're done with that you just want to go ahead and press on open and by the way this application is free to download you don't need to spend money or anything like that so then once you press on open you're going to get a screen that looks like this and there's going to be a bunch of different options over here but the only one that you want to go ahead and focus on is the one that does say downloads so let's go ahead and press on downloads right over here and from here you want to go ahead and look for the shader that you did download so i just downloaded the realism graphics shader uh previously in the video and it is right over here but if for whatever reason you can't find it, make sure to go to the search bar right over here and look up the name of your shader. Once you've found your shader file, all you want to do is you want to long press on it just like so. Then you want to go ahead and press on this button that does say rename. And then it is going to give us the name of the texture pack. And here's where you guys need to be very, very careful. This is probably the most important part of the tutorial. So guys, please pay attention. What you want to do is you want to make sure that the file name ends in .mc pack make sure that it does end in .mc pack only. Make sure it does not end in .mc pack .zip. And you will notice that in this instance, the end of the file will actually end with .mc pack .zip, and that's not good. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and delete the .zip over here. So just literally delete it like so. And then as you're able to tell now, the file will end in a .mc pack. And that is exactly what we need in order to actually run shaders on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So go ahead and press on done once you're done with that. And then once you're done with that, it will now say rename successfully. And here's the file once again. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and long press on your file one more time. But this time you want to go ahead and press on these three dots that says more. Then you want to go ahead and press on open with. From here, you want to go ahead and select on Minecraft. So Minecraft is already up here, but if it's your first time ever using this application, then you may need to go ahead and scroll down. So just scroll down until you see Minecraft. Anyways, guys, once you're done with that, you just want to go ahead and press on just once or always. It doesn't really matter. Either way, we'll get the job done. So let's just go ahead and press on just once for this video. And now it is going to go ahead and actually open up Minecraft right over here. And now it will say import started. And there you go. Now I did get a duplicate pack error, and that is because I already downloaded this texture pack previously however if you never downloaded texture packs before then it will not give you that error 
Anyways, guys, what we need to do now is we need to go ahead and press on settings. Then you want to go to the left menu and you want to scroll down until you see global resources. Then you want to go ahead and press on my packs right over here. And you will notice that we will get the realism mode graphics um, texture pack that we did download. So let's just go ahead and press on activate right over here. And if we look underneath active, you will notice that the texture pack will be right over here. So now all you need to do is you need to exit out of the settings and then enter in to any Minecraft world that you do have. All right, guys, and here we are in the Minecraft world. And as you're able to tell, we are able to get brighter lighting and darker defined shadows. And the sky is completely different as well. But guys, in order to make the experience better, what I recommend that you guys do is actually open up your settings one more time, then scroll down until you see video. Then you want to go ahead and scroll all the way down and where it says graphics mode, change it from simple to fancy. And this is actually like a new menu that was included in the update. So that's honestly really cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the graphics mode to fancy. And then if we return to our game, you will notice that the graphics will look significantly better. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are trying to reach 400,000 subscribers. Please like, comment, subscribe. See you later, french fries.